Hello everyone, my name is Josef, your neighborhood friendly PT. Today we're talking about things you need to follow when you're starting your own fitness journey. And I've got these nine points, because 10 is a bit too cliche, that you need to keep in mind when you start. Point number one, take a blood test. That way you'll have a good snapshot of your current health. And in a few months, when you repeat the same blood test, you can compare and see how well you're doing. Point number two, start off slow. Don't just go to the gym day after day and burn yourself out. Pace yourself, enjoy the journey, go for a walk, go for a jog, help your wife out around the house. You know, just start off slow. Point number three, less is not always more. Why is that? Well, when most of you start your own fitness journey, you start cutting out calories really quickly. And what happens is your metabolism sort of slows down and then you'll hit a plateau and then that's when you usually message me to help you out. Point number four, fat is not the enemy. Why is that? Well, most people think that eating fat makes you fat, when in reality your body needs healthy fat to burn off its own fat and to have a good hormone profile. The better hormone profile you have, the better your body will function, the better you'll do. So if you've made it this far, I'm sure you're enjoying it like and subscribe because it will help me out since the algorithm is always working against me. Hit that like and follow button. Point number five is keep your protein intake high. Whether you're a vegan, vegetarian, meat eater, vampire, werewolf, whatever you are, just keep your protein intake high. It will keep you feeling fuller for longer and it will help you put on muscle because in order for you to build muscle, you need good amounts of protein. Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> oh God, okay. okay, okay. And action. Point number six. Have a damn cheat meal. It's not always about eating by the diet plan. Sometimes having a plate of pasta, a pizza, will help your body get out of that plateau and you'll burn more fat, gain more muscle and feel better doing it. Point number seven. If you go to the gym to burn fat, don't just do cardio. Don't run on the treadmill for hours. Use resistant exercises. So use heavy weight, train your whole body because the more muscle you have on your frame, the more calories you're gonna be burning at rest. And that will get you leaner in the long run. Point number eight, lift heavy, but keep good form. Most of you, when you start off your fitness journey, go to the gym with a couple of friends and everyone's, you know, checking to see how much they can lift. Everything's about the ego. And what usually happens is someone gets injured and then they have to stop the whole journey. So what I suggest is find a challenging weight, go for it, give it your best shot, but make sure your form is on point. <laughs> Damn it, Justin. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> and the last point is don't be afraid to ask for help. If you want to get a haircut, you usually go to a hairdresser or a barber or someone who is a professional in that area. So when it comes to working out and fitness, if you don't know what you're doing, feel free to reach out to a PT, a nutritionist, someone who knows what they're doing and can guide you towards where you want to get. So that's it for today. I hope you found those points useful and interesting. Peace out, Brussels sprout.